off-grid pet Good evening. Good evening. It's episode 22 of the Off Grid Prep Family Podcast. It's a lot of episodes. Yeah, it's a lot of time to get you to sit down and be still for a minute. <laughs> Tonight we're talking about how to get off grid for five grand or less. More like four grand if you live in the U.S. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. It's four thousand and forty-eight dollars if you live in the U.S. That's a random number. Well, it's 5,200 Canadian, oh. 4,048 U.S. Right now, as of today, 6.30 p.m. on July 25th. So it'll be different when you listen to this in two right. hours. Right. It'll be up Because the U.S. is slowly no, crashing no. into oblivion. No. no, it'll go up 9.1%. <laughs> That's all. It's only 9.1%. Everything's fine. Per Everything's annum? fine. Per week? Nothing to see here. I don't understand I these numbers. I feel like it's per day. I feel like these numbers are made up. It's a little vague. It's a little vague. Today we're going to walk you through how to get off the grid cheap with high quality gear. Stuff that's not disposable that you're not going to be kicking yourself for buying in 6 or 12 months time. And stuff that, you know, it's going to last. Yeah. First, we're having a quick chat about marigolds in the garden. Marigolds are magic. They can get rid of all your problems. Did you know that? (laughs) (laughs) So we probably have a whole episode about old wives tales and garden woes, but today we're just going to do marigolds and root knot nematodes. So if you've been gardening in the city or a small lot somewhere, you might have been told that you can companion plant marigolds around your plants and it will magically protect them from all bugs and things you don't want. When we lived in the city, I would plant marigolds in the corners of all my beds, thinking that it would magically put up a force field. Like, like there was something like, magical. <laughs> I like that. The force field. Yeah. yeah. And people still do that. And if you live in town or you live somewhere where you don't have a lot of bugs, you might think that that's working. And then you move to the country and you realize, oh, wait, I hadn't thwarted all of the pests. I just didn't really have a pest problem. <laughs> 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 so, um, marigolds... First of all, what's a nematode and why are you trying to get rid of it, right? There are that's good that ones weird, and bad ones. That's that weird tiny little worm. worms. Sometimes they're so microscopic you can like barely see them. They live in your soil. All soil has them in different amounts and there's a whole bunch of different types, like tens of thousands of different types. There are some nematodes that you use to kill like June bugs in your lawn. Like there are good ones and bad ones. What most people are talking about when they're talking about marigolds is they think that they're getting rid of the ones that deform your plant roots, they kill your tomatoes, they cause like deformities in your root crops. And that's a real problem in like beets or carrots or garlic. And if tomatoes are infected, the whole plant will just like die one day. If you're not using heirloom seed, your plants have probably been bred to be resistant to root knot nematodes, so you probably don't have to worry about it. But marigolds if you grow a marigold and then you till it in and then you grow the plant oh in the same season yeah i saw that word it's nematicide yes it's like a natural antibody it will it will scare away the root nematodes at least theoretically the one main problem is that most of us do not have a growing season long enough for you to grow a marigold till it under and then plant a crop and harvest it. No, not even close. So if you live in like Southern California, you may be able to make that go. Also, there are, like I said, tens of thousands of different kinds of nematodes. And unless you're going to have your soil tested and figure out which one it is that you're trying to get rid of, and then plant the corresponding marigold that attacks that nematode, you're just doing it for decorative purposes so there are different varieties of marigolds hundreds and when you buy it just from a seed pack at the store chances are it's just going to say like marigold or sun mix or princess mix like it's not even going to tell you what scientific variety you're Hmm. planting there are some marigolds that work better than others if it's working for you that's great odds are it's either luck or you just really don't have that much of a pest load mm, in which, your is, which goes back to what you're talking about living in the city yeah 
we didn't actually have pests. Yeah, not like we do. We, we had garden yeah. success. Yeah, but it was because there was nothing to eradicate in the yeah. first place, and that's that's a really important point. Mm -hmm. And you have to. It's not about having the living marigolds. It would be digging them into the soil, mm -hmm. like the way that planting and then digging in mustard gets rid of your potato beetles for a season. You have to be able to do that, dig them in, and then plant the thing. Oh, yeah, that's a big job. And it would be a very long growing season. I don't personally have that long of a growing season. I do like marigolds. They're cute. But if anything, they're probably attracting pests to your garden. Yeah. Especially the nematodes. And so I would definitely advise you to not plant them by the things that you think that you're trying to protect if you have a pest problem. Hmm. And if you don't, then I don't know. Good for you. Congratulations. Shall we move on to our first sponsor of the day? Absolutely. I think this uh, ties in with our pest problems. Today's sponsor is Major Mom's Ground Control. It is an all natural insecticide and herbicide combined in one spray. It is. It's all wrapped into one. Um, we've tested it in our vineyard. We've been using it around our pool. It's incredible. Around like the gravel in the front yard, Do you remember? the patios. Do you remember that first day? Because we were getting hunted by black flies and mosquitoes. You couldn't go outside anymore. It, it was, was just unlivable. a weird, it was that weird month in spring and you just couldn't. But I feel like there's always that weird month. First it's the black flies, then, then it's, it's the horse flies, then it's the mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> it's always something. One thing after another. So we laid this stuff down fairly sparingly yeah like i think i used maybe it was only a four gallon. liters it was four liters and we treated like an acre and a half like pretty sparsely and well maybe not quite an acre and a half but it was close mm -hmm. and it was shocking it was the same day yeah suddenly you could go outside and you weren't your face wasn't getting pecked yeah, by bugs there was occasional bugs yep and but nothing like it was. It was livable again. It was unbelievable. And the weeds, I think what really got me mm -hmm. was the weeds. It's insane. We did a test and we have a video. We haven't uploaded it yet. We haven't really, we haven't edited it yet. Yeah, it, we wanted to make sure it worked. I mean, like there's a bunch of chunky clips. They're all there. Yeah. But we wanted to make it look pretty. Anyway, <laughs> the video that we took and we watched, I timed it and... The difference between application and 15 minutes later was shocking. Yeah, we should have been taking one minute. We should have. Apart, we only 15 took 15 minutes. minute intervals. Because we have, in our non organic days, decades ago, we've used Roundup. And we know that Roundup can take days. So it didn't occur to me that we should be time lapsing, lapsing this over no. minutes, not no. days. It was insane. And the next day, it was scorched earth. It was yeah. yellow, like done, dead plants. Dead nothing. weeds. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And nothing's come back. And it's been over 28 days. And the bugs are maybe starting to come back. We've had a lot of rain. We have. But that yeah. first rain, I was like, oh, we're going to have to reapply. And it, it's still fine. Yeah, it was really shocking. I'm st Honestly, I'm still processing it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've been through a traumatic experience. Totally. With like a positively traumatic experience. <laughs> And so I'm not going to read you the whole ingredient list, yeah. but basically it's uh, chrysanthemum, coconut oil, palm kernel oil, well, organic olive oil, um, wild mint, yep. organic hemp oil, jojoba oil. Yeah, you've got uh, peppermint, lemongrass, acetic acid in there, which is an important component. Some really strong acetic acid, rainwater, citric acid, and some vitamin E. And there is salt in it, but what we found, we did uh, we did a test with the the spray. Basically, from what I can tell, the oils in Major Mom's ground control what they do is they bind the the other ingredients to the plant. Yeah, it makes it stick. You know when you drop water in a leaf and it just beads off? Yeah. You can see it immediately. It just sticks and it mm -hmm. soaks in and it forces the plant to, to almost take, to, to take the that, ingredients. Yeah, that super strong vinegar and the super strong And salt. when you, we applied it, well, I applied it with a, one of those hand pump sprayer things mm -hmm. and you're able to target the plant and there is salt in the major moms, but it's not like a salty earth salt. It's like yeah. The salt goes into the plant. Yeah. And so you can plant new things. Yeah, it doesn't. Days later, it doesn't kill the soil. Yeah. 
and that's part of the application. And we apply during hot, sunny weather because yeah. that's what it said on the instructions, and it was like it almost was incident- instantaneous. It, it was almost it was instantaneous. Crazy. Yeah. We do have a coupon code, and you can buy Major Mom's Ground Control on our store. If you go to offgridprepfamily.com forward slash store, we've got it there. Free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. And if you use the coupon code OGPF, you get 15 bucks off. Nice. Pretty sweet. So oh, that's the other thing. I think it's, for, for what you get and the effectiveness, it's, oh. it's comparable to Roundup, if not cheaper. It's cheaper than Roundup. It also gets rid of the bugs, and you can let your kids run around outside in five minutes and not worry about it. Yeah. Pretty epic. I don't... <laughs> I think it's going to be a big thing. I, I really do. So. so get on it now before the price goes up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Major Mom's Ground Control. Moving on. We're talking today about the $5,000 solar system. It's yes. the thing that everybody wants. Get me the cheapest solar system that'll run the minimum things that I need so I'm not, you know reading by candlelight and not able to work on my laptop and not able to run a small fridge like we still have things we need to do in life because we're not camping here yeah what do i need to get off the grid for five grand or less well the basics are i say with my engineer brain it's pretty straightforward however it's not straightforward it's not straightforward give me the list get your pen and paper and take down the list so and if you go to our off-grid gear page, we've linked these all, and all these prices are up to date as of today, July 25th, at quarter to 7 p.m. <laughs> In the year 2022. So by tomorrow, everything will be 10% more. 9.1. Right. Go on. What do I need? The first thing you need is batteries. Okay. What you can't batteries? live without batteries. I will always advocate until somebody comes up with something better, more mainstream, lithium iron phosphate. The, mm-hmm. the, the term, the short term is LIFE, P-O-4, yes. L-I-F-E, P-O-4. P-O they are very mainstream. Like on Amazon There's, right now? How do you pronounce that? I've read this several Ninith times. Ninithisit. <laughs> Ninith, sit. Sure. What I like about them, there are a few lithium or LIFE PO4 battery sellers on Amazon, but these guys have a whole line of them. Mm-hmm. They are in Canada, yeah. which means they're in North America. We have ordered many sets of LIFE For you geography EO4. buffs, nice. and that means we're in... Sorry, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We've ordered from China many times with batteries. It sometimes is a, they take months, sometimes they just don't come at all. And that was years ago. And that was back when things were Now normal. things are worse? Uh, I can't imagine. So anyway, get the ones it, that are already in North America. They're on our off-grid gear page. Yes. And so this is for a 3.2 volt, 176 amp hour. And how many of those well, that, do you need? So what these are, these are 3.2 volt cells. The the piece of kit on our off-grid page is four cells. So you end up with more or less a 12 volt pack. Mm-hmm. So the you system, need four of those. You need four 12 volt packs which makes a 48 volt system so this is probably the big number in your it is the big number yeah so that's four Mm -hmm. at 760 760 dollars each you're you're not going to find any other batteries for that price yeah so these are raw cells but they come with all of the bus bar bars and bolts to put them together like if you took in the past we've had to make our own we have Yeah. yeah we've had to make our own jumpers it's it was trying. So this is still DIY friendly. Anyway, this is still very DIY friendly. So once you've got a battery, Mm -hmm. and once again you need four of these, you make yourself a 48 volt battery pack, which is if you have a socket wrench and half a brain cell you can do this. (laughs) So don't worry. Okay. Once you need a battery, you need something to get the power out of that battery. And this is where the inverter comes along. Okay, what kind of inverter do we like? Well, the one I like, I like a lot of different ones for different reasons, Mm -hmm. but... All around. All around, I like the Renogy Mm -hmm. 3500-watt pure sine wave inverter. Okay. It's $850, and it has a great surge capacity, it'll put out a clean sine wave, it'll accept solar charging and generator charging, Mm -hmm. 
It will also, it has a built-in solar charger. I know I said accept solar charging, but the function of actually charging your batteries with solar panels is a built-in thing. And mm. traditionally, until even a few years ago, you I know, because I was thing. on the bleeding edge of this, yeah. you had to buy a whole separate component, which right. was 1000 to $1,200. It was insane. So this is this is everything than that. In one now, there are many models out there of what they call a hybrid inverter. Mm -hmm. What I like about Renogy, and I haven't approached them yet about sponsorship. I'm yeah. thinking about it. But what I like about Renogy, Renogy is they've built during the crumbling of California. They have built a positive brand yeah. based in California. I went there once when they were just getting started, and they have a really good feel to it. And they've created some really interesting products. Yeah. They started with 100 watt solar panels. Yeah. They grew into simple solar they chargers. They make it accessible. They make it very yeah. accessible. They do. So you got your batteries. And you got your inverter. Your inverter takes the power out of your batteries and turns it into standard house power. We have to take a quick break. Great. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's talk about the off grid prep family planner. Mm. Available today on Amazon. Thing is so heavy. <laughs> it's a. Uh, 486 pages because I like to have everything that I need to run my home and my farm and my business. I like to have it in one thing. Mm -hmm. Just carry the one thing. Like a like a ledger. Like a ledger. It will organize your preps, your pantry, your homestead, your home equipment, your people, your household. It's got garden planners and livestock planners, daily chore lists. It's really thick. If you're thinking of going off grid, this stuff's important. Yeah, and there is a customizable section on each daily layout. I use it for six home learner homeschool students, but you could use it for your home-based business checklists to organize what people need to do every day. It's like really versatile. It's got instructions for your farm sitters and uh, things to track your daily harvests stock records, laying bird records, your logs for your meat birds, emergency bug out bag sheets and inventories for everybody's bug out bags, your evacuation checklist and your family emergency plan, and uh, everything else you could possibly ever need. You can get it on Amazon today or you can download the PDFs from our store on offgridprepfamily.com forward slash store. It's about half the price if you want to download and print yourself, but for the cost of printing, it's probably just cheaper to buy it from Amazon. It comes in two days and it's, you know, free shipping. So there you go. Go on. Tell me more. What do I need? I've got batteries. I've got an inverter. What else do I need for this $5,000 magical unicorn solar system? <laughs> well, one of the things that I really never liked about when I used to install solar energy systems with battery backup with lead acid batteries mm -hmm. is nobody nobody talked about what happens if i get one bad cell right or one battery starts to go lower and the yeah, other side. nobody had because these things are wired in series you had to have an electrician who I'd would just come out and maintain your system every month he would measure and then maybe charge one of them like you're Top talking up your seriously yeah. expensive stuff so what happened was at some point, they started bringing out what they call battery management or battery yep. monitoring systems. Mm -hmm. They do the same thing. We've tried many. Not all of them do what they say. No, and none of they're all. It's a very underdeveloped industry. For sure, frankly. Yeah. The one that's out there now, it's. Ooh, we're getting thunder. Oh, we are. I said it was gonna rain. Ooh. I felt like it was gonna so rain. So we're gonna go unplug our solar panels, and we'll be right back. Right back. So that's fun. That's why we live off grid. We can have total control. Yeah, the breaker's off now. There's no electrical connection. Yeah. From an engineering standpoint, my particular circuit breaker has a, I think, a 15 or 20,000 kVA surge rating, which means that something has to really arc across that thing. Yeah. That's for you nerds like me. I'm going to fall asleep and keep talking about that. But well, somebody's got to be a nerd. Somebody's got to know how this all goes. Anyway, so you want to monitor your cells. And what do we do that with? We have a D A L Y like Dally. Dally. Yeah. It's a Chinese unit, but I I have searched high and low, and there's we nothing else out there like that. Purchased, returned, fried, oh. kicked, 
thrown in garbage so many BMS units. We have. Over it's been exhausting. The last, uh, 12, 16 years? Anyway, yeah. the dolly works great. I wish it was Wi-Fi. It's not, but okay. it's Bluetooth. We so have a you just that. have have to have a smartphone near it. Yeah. You can't access it with a laptop, but every morning I check my batteries. Actually, I check them probably three times a day. Yeah. You and check I'll see in the if morning. there's a bad cell you or whatever. You check them around 10. You check them around 4. Mm -hmm. yeah. But with the lithium cells, as long as you get them all in the same batch all at once, mm -hmm. which is from the nin this it gosh <laughs> i've been through a lot of these i feel like they just jam the keyboard with their head yeah like, wah, 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 but and that's what they come up with <laughs> but the ones that we have selected that i've selected they have a few different sizes mm -hmm. and dollar per kilowatt hour the ones that are, are on our page are the best but the company is great for a few reasons and this is important too customer service I messaged them on Amazon and they got back to me within 24 hours no yeah. problem they were very friendly they have stock in North America mm -hmm. ready to go yeah right these are the v these and are the key things you've got the Amazon A to Z guarantee and that's the final thing yeah. the Amazon A to Z guarantee if they ship you something and you don't get it Amazon will refund you that's one of the yeah. big reasons if they ship you something and it's late and it's Amazon late will refund you if they ship you something and it's slightly dented and you're like, eh, I don't know if I should use that. You get your money back. You do. It's amazing. And that's, it is amazing. So finally. How many of those BMSs do I need? Just uh, the one? Only one. Okay. Yeah, it, it has wires, you attach it. There's very simple instructions. And as of today, it's 146 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Go so on. it's worth What's the money. Next? The next thing, once you've got your batteries, your inverter to get the power out of your batteries, the mm -hmm. BMS to monitor your batteries. Mm -hmm. Really what you absolutely need next are solar panels. Okay. We like used repoed We do. Primarily, I'm not going to plug anything new here first because... If you can get them local, you can probably get them for 20 to 30 cents a watt. It's ridiculous. And they'll still be, you know, between five and six, seven years old. It's about the time when people start defaulting on their on loans. loans. Yeah. People are, there's an epidemic happening right now where people are mortgaging solar energy systems on their yeah, homes. They're buying things they can't afford to yeah. impress people they don't even like. But these are multi-billion dollar businesses built on this model and it's yeah. a very shaky platform. Yeah. The bonus is there's they're starting, they're starting to liquidate. Yeah. There's a bunch of used panels. So search. You don't even have to search that far. It should probably be a hundred bucks a panel or less. For 250 to 300 watt solar panels. Yeah, that's what you're looking for for you. Now, that said, if you can't find used solar panels, mm -hmm. our first choice, my first choice, is Renogy. Mm -hmm. And I know they're not my sponsor. I just, yeah. I like their business. Yeah. I've always liked and it. I guess because maybe I, maybe I was there the once. Customer service is good. Yeah. You you want to try and keep it right around the one dollar per watt mark? Yeah, and the one we have on our site on the off grid gear page is, is so you're looking at a dollar eight per dollar, watt. A dollar eight, okay. So it's around the one dollar a watt. Okay. So anyway, you need solar panels to bring in power. Now, how many solar panels would you get if you were really on a budget? It is literally an unanswerable question. You can. I had a have customer. More. I had a customer once who had an island. And it was in the sunniest place around. And yet, they had two trees. Right. They completely, they refused to chop them down. I totally get why, because they were beautiful. Yeah. But, but because of those two they trees, their, they right? may as well lived in the bayou. Like, right. there was no sun. So, it is it is really an unanswerable question. You need to get as much sun as you can if you're trying to live off the sun. And point them and properly. And point them properly. There's a whole science to it that I'm not gonna get into in this episode. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, remains, Yes. you need solar panels. How many? As many as you can get in your budget. So for this exercise, we're I'm trying to build a, a, a basic system. Yeah. I'm gonna say four of those. Four of the two packs. Four of the two packs. So you end up with eight solar panels. Okay. And you can always add. Yeah. So just add four more, mm -hmm. and four more, yep. and four more. Okay, what do I need next? With next your I solar need. panels, really what you need, you can do this two ways, and there's two products that we've put on our off-grid gear page. You can do what's called a combiner box. It's mm -hmm. about $170. 
and it you bring in all the solar panels and this is where you might need to enlist some help we're help, happy to help in comments mm -hmm. guide you but you need basically you need circuit breakers okay and this protects the solar panels from surges just like we did just now because lightning strikes exactly i ran out <laughs> and i hit the circuit breaker off. done yeah. so you can either get the four string uh, pv combiner box okay. or you can just get a single pull breaker wire everything in series once again this is getting into a bit of engineering yeah and make it easy but you're taking a bit of a risk there the combiner box is a better product uh, you're looking at hundred and seventy dollars versus fifteen dollars you probably need two of them so thirty dollars okay so there's not a whole but lot of you've price got difference a lot invested in battery you do you want to maybe just do the one seven you want to protect them okay it's also easier it is because it comes with the the what do they call them strain reliefs like okay. the wire connectors and stuff does it come with that little tool oh I don't know the MC4 tool, yeah. I, I don't think so. I hadn't thought about that. If it doesn't come with that, we'll add that to our list. We will, yeah. The last thing you need. Uh, cables. Yeah. You need to actually physically wire your solar panels to your batteries. This is a really simple one. We have a, a chunk of, uh, or a set of 40 foot cables with, they call them MC4 connectors. Mm-hmm. On and our site. fancy little red tools that go with those. There are little red tools. Which I find all over our house to this day. Y you can You can actually <laughs> use needle nose pliers. Oh, really? Yeah, you can. And <laughs> there is a, a point where the MC4, like if you're connecting and disconnecting stuff, as we've done moving yeah. over the farm, those plastic, uh, whatever, click connectors, they yeah. wear out. And so then you have to use you needle have needle. to use needle nose pliers. So you're telling me that the next time I run over one of those connector things with yeah. a vacuum, I should just throw it in the garbage. Just throw it in the garbage. Like I always want yeah. to. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Good to know. So those are the basic components, and that's really important because you need to start with batteries. You need to have an inverter. Mm -hmm. You so need that to gets you up and running. Up and running. And you can start to learn your system. That's right. Learn your climate. Learn the sun angles. Your and usage. Then how much like yeah. oh wait my fridge sucks do i need a new fridge <laughs> or more panels mm-hmm and that's another component right there is i'm watching the system yeah how do i know what's going on mm -hmm. the renergy inverter will tell you on its screen right. how much power is coming out how Working much power is coming in that screen as a lay person is pretty it's awkward. intense it's pretty awkward yeah. once you get used to it yeah you do start to understand what's going on. But if you want on. this to be a little bit easier, mm -hmm. there's the smartphone Bluetooth thing. That yeah. Now the the Dally BMS has that built in. Right. But the Renogy, it's a it's an add-on item, mm -hmm. and it's thirty two dollars. I think it's worth every penny. And you can just check on your system. Yeah. From your phone. Yeah. Wherever. Yeah. Can you also do it if that's like a cabin? like remotely like if, yeah no it's a bluetooth thing so you oh. have to be see dally did this and renegy did the same thing i'm thinking they're they're working like off the same platform have a system that was remote oh no we currently have one but it's a proprietary oh, a thing. thing i've written it and okay. it's you can't get that <laughs> that's a whole thing yeah. if you want that you'll just have to message us on the yeah website. i mean i could build that for you <laughs> but that's nobody that's makes it i don't thing. know like remote access is a big deal and some of so the so my husband will be in the city and uh, he'll text me and say hey turn on the generator yeah are you what are you running right now how many loads of laundry and dishwashers do you have going? Are you <laughs> drying your hair stop it now that said i could turn the generator on for the city but it, from you could the city, also turn the generator on but it would freak me out it would freak you out so i like to message you and ask you what you're Give doing me a little heads but up. this is the system that i've built it's not a this is not i, I spent years <laughs> well no no <laughs> i spent years in factory automation so i mean i learned everything to write code and everything that i can yeah when our generator turns on the door opens for airflow and then the generator turns off and the door closes to the generator shed. Well, I could I could have done a fan, like turn on a cooling fan thing, mm -hmm. but I liked the door thing. Yeah, it just it, it it lets the heat out. Yeah. There's less mechanical components, yeah. which is good. He drives up the driveway. The gate opens. Gate opens. Yeah. It's weird. It's fine. Oh, it's super weird. We've all got hobbies. 
So our total after all of those components, I believe it was just under is 50, just under fifty two hundred dollars. That's yeah. Canadian. It worked out to about four thousand forty eight U S. Yeah. It's all on Amazon. You could order it all tomorrow, and it would all be at your house by Friday. And all of these items we've listed on our off grid gear page because you can fall into a serious rabbit hole on you Amazon. Can. Oh my. Trying to find what you need. And if you bought those things as listed, you would end up with what? Uh, you're going to end up with 1600 watts of solar power, which is not a lot. Let me be clear about this, mm -hmm. but solar is the cheap part here. Mm -hmm. You're going to end up with a 176 amp hour 48 volt battery and a 3500 watt inverter with I think 5000 watts of surge mm -hmm. like this thing can run an air compressor right like you're you're good to go you're not limited no in that sense and you can always add you can more run panels. a dishwasher you can always add more panels and there is a glut of panels yeah so just keep your eye on those yeah. craigslist ads and you'll yeah. find more all right I think we have to wrap it up okay the thunder's starting to really come in but do you have a quote for us today look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. Mm. That's from Albert Einstein. That was good. Thank you. All right, people. If this was helpful to you, could you please share it with a friend or share it online or give us a five-star review? That would be really awesome. Thanks for listening. Have a good night. Bye.